Welcome FlossTube. My name is Annie and I'm the Proper Stitcher and this is episode number five. Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for subscribing and for commenting. And if this is your first time watching, welcome and I hope you, you enjoy our um, time together. Thank you all who watched my video last week and sent wonderful messages to my sister, um, Lisa. I traveled to Florida last week and spent the week with her. I arrived on Tuesday and left on Monday. And I went by, I went down to visit with her, of course, but to also help with things around the house and help take her to some appointments. And uh, it was just a really nice week with her. Uh, my sister Jamie arrived on Wednesday and we just had a really nice time together. We took advantage of the days that Lisa felt well enough to go outside and give her a change of scenery. So we were able to get some shopping in, some lunch, and um, just just enjoy the day. She lives in Panama City, Florida, so we were able to just enjoy the sunshine as much as we could. So it was a nice week, but she read all of your comments, all of your well wishes and your prayers of support, and it really meant a lot to her. So thank you. They were both, both of my sisters and my brother-in-law were really surprised that um, there is such a thing as floss tube. They have never heard of it before, and my sisters do not cross stitch. Uh, my sister Jamie paints and my sister Lisa is a very talented photographer and she also does a lot of ancestry research on our family trees. So she's in the process of putting all of that information together. It's been something she's been working on for a few years. But when I told them about floss tube, Lisa was very interested and she wants to try and make a charm pack quilt. So I sent her all the videos to watch that I watched that helped me get started on quilting and we'll see where that goes but she seemed pretty excited about it and i think she wants to start off with a patriotic quilt so maybe maybe now she will uh, follow all of us along on floss tube and watch some quilting videos and maybe start cross stitching so um you know so i traveled back home on on monday and it, i haven't i usually don't leave town that long or leave my family that long and course everybody did great and my husband Matthew does a wonderful job um, we, we're we make a great team and when I'm out of town he really does do double double the work and I came home to everything was as it should be and normal and actually better than before, when I left it so it was nice to come home and see everybody as you'd expect I didn't get as much st stitching done as I wanted I brought all of my projects thinking I would stitch some while Lisa was resting but I used that time to either visit with my sister Jamie or we um, ran errands for Lisa. So I, I did get some stitching, but just not a lot. Um, but other than that, that, that was pretty much my week. And I did get some exciting news today. My sewing room furniture, um, one, one of the pieces will arrive tomorrow. And the other one, which is the uh, bookshelf that'll go on the, the length of a wall, will arrive next Tuesday. So fingers crossed that everything arrives on time, everything arrives in good shape, and we can start putting everything together. I got home and got to see the paint in person. My husband sent me photos while I was away of what the room looks like painted. And so I got to see it in person and it's really blue. It's a lot bluer than I thought it was going to be, but I think once I get white furniture and red furniture and some some things on the walls that'll tone it down, but it's so bright and cheery. I'm, I'm really excited to see how it all comes together. And I'm documenting everything along the way. So um, my blog will be up and running soon and I'll have all of that on there and we'll maybe do a, a sewing room tour. So that's about all of catching up to do about me. I hope you all had a good week and got some good stitching time in. So let's just jump right into it. I did do two finishes yesterday. I received a wonderful package from Stitch Etc. from Kim Gavlick and Ashley Day um, with Stitch Etc. They do the wooden paddles or the wooden boards for cross stitch finishing. And she sent me some paddles yesterday and I couldn't wait to finish something. And so really the, the best thing that I had to fit on this particular board was um, By Golly, Be Jolly by Lizzie Kate. And I showed y'all this a few weeks ago. I had it stitched and I finished it on this red paddle. So here's the back of it, and beautiful work. This is all handmade, hand sanded, and painted. 
and this is by golly be jolly by lizzie kate and i got this kit for the cross stitch piece when i was at the finishing touch last summer when i was there a few weeks ago they i believe they had more of it in their shop and so what comes in the kit is the linen these little beads the pattern and all the floss and it's it turned out so cute i used priscilla's pretty plaids to to uh, layer this so this is the red priscilla's pretty plaids and then i wanted something blue and i had and i really wish i had used a little bit more of it but this is lori holt's vintage christmas blue and it has candy canes on it which you can't see because i covered it up but super pretty color blue which matches the, the blue that i had in there and then i had some picks from hobby lobby some mistletoe um, and I just clip them and they're very glittery. So I keep getting glitter, <laughs> glitter on everything. So I, I clipped some of those. I tore some of Priscilla's pretty plaids and made a little bow. And then I had these Santas and they, um, I found them at Hobby Lobby in their scrapbooking section. And I just hot glued it right on there. So I was, I was out of practice last night and just, it was kind of late. I really forgot to put batting in between the, the linen and the sticky board. Other than that, I, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. It's so cute. And I'm going to put it on a plate stand um, and put it in my kitchen at Christmas. So, by golly, be jolly by Lizzie Kate. And the board is from Stitch Etc. And everything I mentioned today, I will try to put in the show notes below so that you can click on the links and go, go right there. So one last look and it, I'm really happy with that. So cute. And that was a quick stitch and all the colors are bright and cheerful. My, I, I do a mix of stitching. I do primitives, I do uh, bigger pieces, smaller pieces, ornaments, little pin cushion pillows for a, a adobo on my coffee table. But then I also like to do playful things like Country Cottage Needleworks and Little House Needleworks and Lizzie Cates and just just bright and cheerful things. Um, and that started when my kids were little. Um, they, they liked seeing those pieces in the house too. So that's why you'll see some of those come into my, my um, whips and finishes. Now, since I was already down there cutting out linen, uh, excuse me, fabrics and um, and they had my Christmas finishing pieces out, I decided to go ahead and finish an ornament. And I showed y'all this a few weeks ago. I stitched Priscilla's uh, Stitches with Stitching with the Housewives, the Jolly Claws. And I have all of these ornaments, and I have them kitted with the Fabrics by Stephanie Slate linen, or actually I think this is Ada or even Weave. And I have everything ready to go in this Nikki's Notable bag. So I have all the floss, I have the, the patterns, I have the fabric, so I have everything ready so I can just grab this one bag and go. But I went ahead and finished this piece and I'm pleased with how it turned out. This, I used Priscilla's Pretty Plaids and I used her black and then the black and red and then I did put the batting, I <laughs> learned from my last mistake, I put the batting to make it a little bit more puffy and then I've had ribbon and I made a ribbon a bow for hanging and I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a jingle bell I have a Santa jingle bell or if I wanted to do the wreath and what's funny is I took a photo of both sent it to my friend Kim she said well, I really like the wreath well this morning when I pulled out the pattern to show y'all I realized Priscilla used a wreath so that's probably why I liked it um, but I'm, these are so cute they're so quick to stitch there I want to do the Mrs. Claus next but they're so much fun and he's so sweet his little face so so this will go on my tree this year so that those are my two finishes I did this this week so I'll go right on into whips um, oh, here they are so I, I, I wanted to kind of go over a little bit of these hashtags that I'm doing or these stitch alongs and you know I don't want anyone to think that I'm just throwing all these out there and I'm saying stitch stitch all these stitch alongs they are just Pick what you want, do what you want. It just kind of gives me something fun to, to stitch every day and it gives me, it keeps me 
um, excited about what I'm stitching and then I get a little progress of everything along the way. So on Tuesdays I do tomatoes. As I've mentioned before, a lot of cross stitch designers have tomatoes in their designs and sewing tomato pin cushions in their designs. And Stitch Etc. and I, so Kim Gavlik and I, we thought it would be fun to do a Tomato Tuesday. Um, so we stitch anything to do with tomatoes on Tuesday. So you saw my sewing mice last week. So this week I started Plum Street Samplers Summertime Blessing. You can see that. And I just love this design. I just love these tomatoes and how they're different colors. And then it has the flag and it says Summertide Blessings. And so I feel like I'm kind of getting two of my, um, my whips that I'm wanting to work on done in one pattern on this one. I'm getting the patriotic and I'm getting the tomatoes. So this is super, super pretty. I had to do a little bit of changing on the linen, excuse me, on the floss with this one because I was out of a couple of the colors. So I either switched it to DMC or I had to substitute all together. And once I get this finished, I will let you know what color changes I did. So if you want to do the same, you can, and, and that's fine. I mean, a lot of things are just hard to come by right now, the colors are, and so I didn't want to wait, and I wanted to go ahead and get this one started. But And I posted this on Instagram on Tuesday, and, and I said, do you know, have you ever started a project and you just thought, I really am gonna love this project? That's how I feel about this one. This linen is Stormy Night Belfast, and it's 32 count. And I love how the modeling of the blue, can you see that modeling on that blue? So pretty. And the linen is so soft, but this tomato is just adorable. And I love how the, the design on the top, the stem of the tomatoes are so just, they have so much detail to them. This is gonna be so much fun. So I'm excited about this this Tomato Tuesday. And again, that's Plum Street Samplers Summertide Blessings. So pretty. Now, you know that I love Nikki's Notables bags. And Nikki from Nikki's Notables sent me a bag to give away today. And she sent me a gift. And she sent me this bag. This is the same bag I'm giving away at the end of the show. But that was so sweet of her. She did not have to do that. And thank you, Nikki. I really, really appreciate it. I love blue. She knows I like blue. And this bag is, it just, it's, it's very, very kind and very generous. Thank you, Nikki. So Nikki's Notables bag. So I did not get a lot of more done on my um, modern folk art embroidery. I got a little bit more done in my, my, I'm still in the first motif. So this is Modern Folk Embroidery Fruit of Plenty. And here's my progress. I did get a little bit more done in the basket and in the border. And I'm stitching this on 32 count um, antique white Belfast linen. And it's still one of my favorite linens. Super pretty white, uh, creamy white and soft. It's perfect with this blue and white. And I chose to do DMC 3750 and DMC 932. And I'm still really enjoying this one. All right, and so part of my patriotic um, for mania, that's my, my mania project, is uh, to try to stitch more patriotic pieces. So I had made some progress on From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy, and this is Freedom Quaker. And I am stitching this on Dixie Sampler's 36 count Rolling Stone. And so I got, I'm almost finished with the outline of this first motif. And this linen is more of a gray, like a gray stone um, linen. It looks really pretty with this blue. This is blacksmith blue, which is a, a beautiful shade of blue. Okay, I have, I have a confession to make. 
So I've been, as you know, I've been working on this Summer at Cherry Hill, and this is another one of my stitch alongs. Um, this is hashtag Summer at Cherry Hill or hashtag Cherry Hill, and I am stitching this with a lot of people have joined in, but I, <laughs> I started on the tree this past week, and I made, I made some good progress, but when I pulled it out the other day, I, I guess I must have been tired, I don't know, but I thought, oh no, I, I started filling in the inside of the box upside down. I thought that this was the bottom and I started stitching my tree at the bottom, the top of the tree at the bottom, and I had a little mini panic attack. <laughs> and then I realized, no, no, I'm doing it the right way. It's just, my mind wanted to stitch it this way with where the A is uh, all the way down here. I think My mind was thinking this was the top. So I, I did a double take and I thought, oh, but everything's fine. I'm stitching it the right way. So this is my progress on the tree. And I'm stitching this on 32 count vintage mocha, country vintage mocha, or vintage country mocha. So super excited about that. And the tree is coming along nicely. I'm almost done with the top and then I'll work on the, the trunk of the tree. It's so pretty, I can't wait to get this one done. But I th thought that was so funny when I saw that. I'm so glad that I did not m mess that up because that would have been a lot to pick out. The other stitch along is on Fridays. I like to stitch Friendship Fridays. And that can mean anything from stitching something that's friendship themed. It could mean stitching with friends. It can mean stitching something that just makes you happy. Of course, everything makes you happy when you're stitching, of course, but just stitching something as a gift for a friend. Um, so, Friendship Friday, I'm also doing that with Stitch Etc. If you decide to join in, just use hashtag Friendship Friday. So, I am stitching Plum Street Sampler, A Friend Love It At All Time. So, I'm going to show it to you how it's printed, but then that's how it looks when it's done. So, A Friend Love It At All Times, and I actually made some good progress on this. I worked on the letters and I started the outline for the A, you know, the box for the A. And I think this one's going to be pretty. I'm stitching this on 32 count graceful gray linen and I got it from Blackberry Stitchery in Akron, Ohio. They posted it on Facebook and I called and said I need that color and they, they sent it right to me. Okay. And for, I don't know if any of if y'all have heard about the, um, the Blackbird stitch along that everyone's doing. So the first weekend of every month, focus on Blackbird stitching and I pulled out my home for the holidays and I've been working on tis the season and this is so pretty I really want to get this done because I want to go to, to this piece but I am using all the Bella Swall silks on this which are beautiful and I am using 32 count um, Valor linen and this green is so pretty but I did fill in a little bit of the bird, the cardinal, and this is looking so beautiful. I can't wait to get this done. This one is, this one's a lot of fun to stitch on. Um, so I, I guess I'm getting in the Christmas mood. I'm pulling out some Christmas things to work on recently. So those are all of my whips. Um, so I, I have a lot to catch up on over this weekend since I didn't get a lot of stitching done this past week. So I'm hoping to get more stitching done this weekend. Um, maybe that's what I can do on Mother's Day. So, okay, so my haul that I got, um, oh, yes, my haul, let's, let's do haul next. So while I was in Florida, I did check out their Hobby Lobby because I, I love to check out other cities' Hobby Lobby stores. So I did find some patriotic things. Um, I didn't bring in all my patriotic pieces to show you, but I wanted to show you the ribbon that I got. Um, the man at the store said, you might want to go ahead and get the Patriotic Ribbon now because they won't be getting any more back in. Um, they'll, they'll probably restock the, the other merchandise, but the ribbon, once it's gone, it's gone. So I did get this, and I think I'm going to coffee tea dye it like I did the measuring tape ribbon for my sewing mice. So I got a couple of spools of this, and I got a couple of spools of this ribbon. And I thought those are going to be perfect for some of these patriotic pieces that I'm stitching. 
Um, okay, and I got a, this uh, is just from their fabric section, a fat quarter bundle of homespun. They had it in blue and in red. I decided to get the blue because this is an e this was, seemed easier to match than the red that they had. Um, and I, I love blue. So I got a fat quarter bundle of those. And then when I got home, well first my husband sent me a photo of the mail that was piling up while I was gone. And he was like, is it Christmas? What's going on? You've got a lot of packages. It's like, oh, they're just all coming in at the same time or so. Oops. Okay, so I did get some of the new Lori Holt flea market pieces from Fat Quarter Shop. I just love this. This is Lori Holt flea market charm packs. So let me try to let you see these. I cannot wait to get my sewing room put back together so I can work on these quilts, these fabrics that I've been getting. So I got Oh, oh, I didn't realize I got five. I got five charm packs. I meant to get four. I got five charm packs of these. I got this for the binding. And this beautiful, beautiful fabric for the backing. So this is gonna be a lot of fun to put together. As soon as my room is, is in order and my sewing machine is out, I'm going to start working on these. So that is Lori Holt's um, flea market. Then I got some PDFs. I don't know. It just goes right here. I got some PDFs um, online from Etsy. So for patriotic, this is patriotic and bees because I found some Ray Dunn bee um, items when I was at Home Goods in Florida and Alabama driving back. So, um, I wanted to get some bee themed. This is Country Rustic Primitives. I don't know if you can see that. This is, um, oh, what is this one called? This one's called Glory Bee Pillow Tuck. Glory Bee Pillow Tuck. And it has a beehive and the flag. And it says Glory Bee here on the right. So cute. I love Country rustic primitive designs. Um, very, very quick and easy. Just a good blend of a primitive design, but also um, has a little bit more modern elements to it. I really think it's pretty. And I downloaded some of Priscilla uh, Stitching with the Housewives patriotic pieces. So this is Liberty. And this is from her What's in My Cup series. This is Land of the Free. This is from her tiered trade tidbits. And I did get one of her bumblebee um, designs, and this is Honeybee. And that's cute. I just love how this beehive looks like a gingham beehive. So cute. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm all over the place, but if I don't say this now, I'll forget. Speaking of stitches, to Stitching with the Housewives, Stitch Etc. is hosting a retreat at the end of September. I cannot remember the dates. I think it's September 27th through the 30th. I cannot remember. I'll put their link below for their Facebook page. But they're hosting a retreat in, I believe, South Indianapolis um, with the Stitching with the Housewives. So uh, Priscilla and Chelsea will be the uh, I guess guest of honor, if you will, or the designers um, there who will be teaching classes, and they have opened up the retreat. So if you are interested, go to their Facebook page, Stitch Etc.'s Facebook page, and the instructions are there on how to um, register for the retreat. And uh, their group is a private group, so just ask to join their group and all the information will be there. And I'm excited because I'm going to go. So it would be a great time for you all to meet the people, the, you know, Kim and, Ang uh, Kim and Ashley who make the wooden paddles and to meet Priscilla and Chelsea and lots of fun, fun things are planned and it'll be a Halloween themed retreat. So I wanted to tell you that before I forgot. So more of my um, haul that I got this week. I got some stickers in the mail to go in my, um, uh, Oh goodness, to go in my book of days. 
somebody asked me, where do you get the Book of Days calendar? And I ordered this one from Stitches and Things in Michigan. And I will put the link to her website in the show notes below. But most local needle workshops will have it. And if they're out, they can order it. Um, you know, with it being May, you should still be able to get it. And it's fun to just document what you're working on along the way. So this is, this is so much fun. But so I got more stickers and these are the pens that I use to write in them, in, in the book. So I'll link that below too. I, I got these on Amazon. So I got some stickers to go with my calendar. And then to continue with my Tomato Tuesday, I got Lucy Bean Love and Stitches Tomato Pins and Scissors designs. And I already know what I'm doing with this. I have a box that is a wooden box that was give, gifted to me. And I'm gonna stitch this and it, it is the perfect size to fit right on top of that box. So this is tomato pins and scissors. And it, the, the red that she used is Red Pear by Weeks Dye Works. And it's, it's really pretty, it's a pretty color. And then another Lucy Bean Love and Stitches, this one is called Tomato Needlework Set. And I just liked all the different shades of the tomatoes, the greens and the yellows. It's so pretty. And then I got so excited. I ordered this from Johnson City Cross Stitch and Crafts. This is the Red, White, and Bloom by Brenda Gervais. And I am so excited to start these. They are the perfect size, the perfect smalls. You can make little pin, uh, little pillow tucks to put in a bowl. You can put them on little bitty wooden paddles. You can put them on boxes. If you have a tree, you, can, you know, a patriotic tree, you can make little ornaments. So cute. And this, this is my last haul. Well, second to last haul. I got this um, friendship sampler after seeing Lori Holt stitch it and she changed the colors and it was beautiful. This is from Mor Moria Blackburn and this is um, friendship sampler. And I'll read to you what it says in just a second. I think it's so pretty. And I love the colors that Lori changed. Um, and she showed it in her floss tube and on her Instagram. But it says, it is a dear thing, friendship, a sweet balm, a fast elusive bird of calm that flutters over life's tumultuous ocean. I just think that's so, so pretty. So I got those and when I was um, with my sisters, I was looking for tomatoes, vintage pincushion tomatoes, and had a hard time finding what I was looking for. But, ooh, I scratched my table. I did find these, this whole jar of tomatoes. That's a lot of tomatoes. There are 31 tomatoes and strawberries of all sizes in here. And it's in this ginormous, jar and I called my friend Kim and I said I don't need 31 tomatoes I mean I, I do want 31 tomatoes but I don't need 31 tomatoes do you want to go in and split this with me and she said yes because she collects them too so I will be sending some of these to you Kim but aren't they amazing look at all of those I can't wait to open this up and look at them I can see they're really dusty some are velvet some are white, some are pink, so pretty. And this is a big jar. We're gonna have to flip a coin to see who gets the jar. It's old and it's heavy. So that, and then I could not find any, um, any I, found, I found those before my trip, but I could not find any while I was on my trip. But I did find this glass tomato at an antique store for $3. So I'm gonna put that in my sewing room. I thought that was so cute. So couldn't find a pin cushion, but I found some glass. And then I got some gifts. Artie from the Vintage Stitcher was so kind to send me a birthday slash anniversary card. And she sent me some stickers to go in my book. So thank you, Artie. That was very nice. And then I do have two other, um, announcements to make about stitch alongs. So after I show you these, 
And then Kim from Stitch Etc. sent me this patriotic wart container. And I thought that, she said, I just knew you would love that. I knew that looked like you with the blue and then the paisleys, so pretty. And then my sister Jamie, um, the she painted something for me. The nurses at where my sister Lisa gets her radiation said that um, the, some patients if who want can take home one of the ceiling tiles. Um, and they're 24 inches by 24 inches. And you can paint them and they'll put them in the ceiling. And so while the patients are receiving their radiation treatment, they can see the ceiling tile above. So my sister Jamie painted the ceiling tile, but then she painted each of us a canvas of the same, same picture. And so she painted this and I thought it was pretty um, with all the different colors and the heart. And so this will go in my sewing room. Uh, and she signed the back and, and put some funny things on to remember the weekend. So thank you, Jamie. I love it. It's going to go in my sewing room. So those are my gifts and my, my haul. So I have two exciting stitch alongs that I'm going to do with one is with the vintage stitcher and the other one is with stitch, etc. Again, if you want to join us, great. Both are very low-key, informal, easy-peasy. Do it if you want. Stitch it when you want. Um, you don't want to start with us. Start later. The first one's going to start next weekend, um, May 8th, I believe. And this one, you can it's a PDF download. And I showed it to you a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't have it printed. This is Little Robin Designs. And this one is called Clarissa Beaumont. And I just love this one. It has animals, it has butterflies. I love that blue. And this is by Little Robin Designs. And she, if you have not watched her floss tubes, if you have not visited her website, I will link it below. One, you can get the PDF for this, but you can also see her other designs. They are amazing. But what's wonderful about this design is she did a research on Clarissa Beaumont and she included it in the pattern. So that's fun. I love I love history. And all of the colors are DMC. So there's a DMC chart in the back. And I may change some of the colors, but this will start next week, next Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. But Clarissa Beaumont Little Robin Designs. So look at that one. If you're interested, please join us. And then with the Vintage Stitcher, Artie, she has a Facebook page, excuse me. She has a Facebook page. So go over and join her group. It's called the Vintage Stitcher. And she was doing a floss tube a couple of weeks ago of some gifts she received. Somebody sent her a stack of, of patterns that they didn't need anymore and they were older. And she showed this one and it's called Bygone Stitches. And it is a Quaker Christmas. And I emailed her immediately and I said, Artie, I have this. I have this pattern. We should stitch that together. I bought this, oddly enough, I bought the whole thing. This is why when you see something you love, grab it because you never know when you'll need it or want it. But my family and I were in Williamsburg, Virginia in 2017, February of 2017. And I know I confirmed because I found the receipt in the back. But I bought this at House Trio when I was there, and they have since closed, and I believe they have an online store or an um, Etsy store, but I, they had this stitched behind the counter, and I thought it was beautiful, just beautiful. And it's mostly green, all green, with just a few bits of red and gold. And so I went ahead and bought everything then. I bought the Classic Color Works Floss and the linen. So this is Cupid, one skein of the Cupid, or any shade of red that you want. Balsam fur, or any shade of green. This I did have to buy, I believe I got 10 of these at one time, just so I could have the same dye lot. And then the ye old gold. And we are gonna start this stitch along in June, June 1st. So if you would like to join us, you can get this by, from Bygone Stitches, A Quaker Christmas. And you can find it online, you can find it from your local needlework store. Um, but if you would like to join this, 
please, please join us. It would be so much fun. And we'll chart our progress on Instagram and Facebook. And I did start a Facebook page. If you, if you didn't see my post on Instagram, it is a private group. But just answer the questions that I've posted on there and you are, are um, approved to, to join. Um, but it's called The Proper Stitcher. And it's a lot of people I realize they do not have Instagram. So if you'd like to follow us on Facebook, you can. But also join um, the Vintage Stitcher and Stitch Etc. And you can see what we're all working on. But this will start in June. And the way that this pattern is, there are these motifs. You can break it up and do a few each month. And hopefully by the end of November, we'll have this done. So it'll give us time to finish it or frame it. And you can have it in your house for a Christmas. Um, again, a Quaker Christmas bygone stitches. And we'll start this one in June. So sweet, so pretty. Um, okay, that is all of my announcements and haul and whips and all those things. So, like I said, we have 2,000 subscribers and I said that we would have a big giveaway um, when, we, when we reach that mark. So let me do the winners from last week and then we'll do our um, giveaway for the 2,000 subscribers. So, our winners from last week, let me get what you won. And I, oh, one other thing, I did get another thing of gifts. Someone sent me, and they asked it to remain anonymous, but someone sent me a box of patterns that they were no longer using, or they had either duplicates of, not that they use them and they're passing them on. They said they either had duplicates, they were not gonna stitch them, or that they were given to them as gifts and they just did not want to use them. So I thank you so much. I will use these as giveaways for the future as well. So. I'm gonna put that here. I almost forgot to share that with you. So the winners last week, and I chose four. Sandy Kilpatrick. So Sandy Kilpatrick. Sarah Gobble, G-O-B-L-E. Tracy Wood, Tracy Wood. And then Tammy Harter, H-A-R-T-E-R. -E so Sandy, Sarah, Tracy and Tammy, if you all would please email me at thepropersticher at gmail.com. Send me your email and I will get your package in the mail to you. The winners from last week, I'm going to get your packages in the mail tomorrow. I'm still trying to get things settled from, from being out of town, so I'll get those to you tomorrow. And then, now, I decided going forward, if I have multiple items that I'm giving away, we're going to number them because I don't want to send you something and you don't want it. So I'm going to number them and when you comment below, just use the number. Um, answer the question and then say number one, number two, number three. And if you want all of them, still do those numbers because when I search, I'll enter those numbers for a search. It won't let me search all, so I'll search the numbers. Um, okay, so as I mentioned, Nikki's Notables sent me a wonderful card and, she, and it was slash birthday and um, they were the birthday and for a giveaway and so thank you Nikki for your sweet note but this is number one this is the giveaway for Nikki's notables this is her bag and this is her tall bag so this is number one so if you would like that say number one Number two is going to be this needle minder. And it's a, it's a hedgehog, isn't he cute? So a needle minder, number two. Number three, I promised to give away this Manor at Quaker Hill because I accidentally bought two. Manor at Quaker Hill by Brenda Gervais. So Manor at Quaker Hill, that's number three. And then number four is this Stacy Nash and Sampler Pin Key. And Sampler Pin Key. So those are the four. So one, two, three, four. And answer the question. Um, oh, let me think. What question? Oh, let's do one more. In honor of the Blackbird. 
designs, um, so let's do five. In honor of the Blackbirds designs um, monthly stitch along. Let's do the rarest flower. This is Garden Club number eight series. So that'll be number five. Okay, so let's answer the question, uh, do you have any summer plans? Are you um, deciding to travel this summer? Uh, my family and I are going to travel uh, to the beach uh, this the end of this month or next month we're going to um, we usually go every year we did not go last year because of COVID so my children are really looking forward to some beach time um, so that's that's our summer plans um, my daughter will be doing some college tours and they both have some volunteer uh, time at some camps so we'll be pretty busy with that um, but we do have one family vacation planned so um, other than that, that is all I have, and thank you again for, for watching, for commenting. Be a subscriber to Enter to Win. Answer that question. Leave the number below, and uh, if you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to email them to me or put them below, and I'll try to answer those as well. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Get some good stitching time in. Uh, enjoy your Mother's Day, and, um, and, and thank you.